And the best way to train that is to use this ball. So imagine this ball is a stone and there's some water there. And I said, right, can you skip that stone across the water the best you can? What would you notice from a movement perspective? Well, you'd notice you take a step into that lead side, pressure now moves into it. And after that, I'm gonna see this whole upper triangle rotate open. The trail side's gonna stay nice and tight to me whilst I hold the angles in the trail wrist and the trail elbow up until the moment of release. And that's the sensation you want to build up in the swing. Moving into that lead side as I appropriately rotate whilst keeping everything nice and close to me up until the moment of release. You can do some with a ball or a stone in your hand and then you can progress that to a club again. It's good to just to hold it with just a trail hand and imagine the exact same sensation moving into that trail side, into that lead side as you open up and keep those angles nice and tightly coming into impact.